hello everyone hello and welcome to broken bones make sure to like and subscribe let's hit level seven make sure to like and subscribe shout out to our subscriber who wants me to do this video follow his channel link will be down to get your below copy of the video let's do thing so happy 10 year anniversary to freddy and the Fazbear Gang. It's been 10 years since Freddy and the Gang were created and born. I felt like it's been longer than that, in my opinion. So I may be playing some FNAF games before I hit, um, 3 a.m. Now, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. All I know is happy anniversary, everybody. And one way to celebrate it is to hit our favorite number. Level 7. Commence! Ooh. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Yeah, that stings. 55 recorded breaks. Alright, let's keep falling over. Ooh, I feel like that was a good cushion. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot. I think the red means that the bone's gonna have to be replaced or something. That bone's bad, <laughs> bad. I wonder what dark red means. Maybe light red means like it's broken, and dark red means that it's broken and cannot be ever replaced or something. I, I actually don't really know. Blech. Alright. I wish there was another scene in here where you fall after you perish. Um, Freddy and the gang can shove you into a fast pursuit where you can live for an eternity. I mean, really. Broken arms? Seriously? <sighs> we got this. We. Ow. 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 44 and 44. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The more higher you get, the more chance and quicker you're going to make it to the level. So as long as you hit over here, then we'll be fine. Because it's sharp, pointy rocks of death. Ugh. Oh, man. I made a split. <laughs> 55, 55. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Oh my god, we're literally towards where there. Oh. Oh. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. This video might be done faster. Oh, 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 ow, ouch, ow, oh my god, <laughs> oh, I'm taking a nap, okay, all right, little nap, watch this, watch what happens, oh man, I mean, I've literally seen that you can, like, literally land on the tree, oh, I was aiming for the tree, Damn it! Oh, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. We ain't stopping. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Ow! Ouch! Ow! Oh! See? We can touch on the tree. And we're drowning. We become Mira Drowned. Not Ben Drowned. Mira Drowned. Yeah. Whoa. One more jump. We gotta make it epic. We gotta make it epic for all the epics and epic moments of our lives. Alright. Whatever happens, happens. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh. That was the worst thing in the land. That was the horriblest jump. Come on, me. You can do this, me. We gotta get to the high ground. The high ground. I have the high ground! Alright, so happy anniversary everyone to Five Nights at Freddy's. Today we're going to be doing a 
Shadow Bonnie. We're going to be getting... No! That's not what I meant. Uh, come on, I, I want to get up there. You will suck. Wait a minute, I didn't know you could climb up like that. What? Fuck that. I'm, I'm not climbing over there. I'm climbing up here. If a person can do it, so can I. Random person. One of you subscribers I saw a few years ago, or probably like a year ago, that's called Random Something. I don't know. I forgot which one of you guys was it. <laughs> okay, the more high you get, the more bones you're gonna break. Ready? Three... Two, one. Oh. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I touched down. Oh, it's, it's, it's hot outside. It's hot outside. I had to make a pool dunk. And we have officially hit level seven. Woo. We're going to do a few more hits, and I think that's going to be the end. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. And, uh, thank you all so much. If you're new, please come join us. Prepare for a part four to hit level eight, part five for level nine, and the final part, I'm just not going to say part six. I'm going to say the final so that we can hit level ten. Yes, I got it all planned out. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be legit. And uh, yeah, I will be probably doing some practicing to make it halfway towards the level. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. This is unbelievably cool. Alright, we're going to do maybe two more rounds. Happy Finance of Freddy's anniversary, everybody. I might do a voting... Of what game should I play for the Five Nights at Freddy's? I might do Fred Bear Mega Roleplay. I might do Survive Five Nights at Freddy's. I might do Survive Shadow Freddy. I might do anything, or I might play the actual FNAF game that first came out, Five Nights at Freddy's One. So, happy ten years! anniversary everyone this has been awesome in every way and i hope you all enjoyed make sure to bash towards the close ah nice rock <laughs> it's 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 like my arms are going back it's like i'm lying down <laughs> that's actually really cool you need to fall a little bit here a little bit there a little bit everywhere. Bash, bash, bash. Okay, we have broken a leg. And we have broken feet. But I think the top leg on the right side, I think in real life, that leg's got to come off. And broken hands and a broken arm and stuff. We need Darth Vader to chop that hand off. <laughs> what listen i'm just saying all right so i have been getting comments and everything of all of you guys a few of you guys said that jeff the killer slender man uh some other creepypastas have been watching you and i've been giving you all some tips if there's any other creepypastas or if you feel like someone's watching you that's got to be slender man or somebody else you have to take a good like a small little look for like two seconds and then just hide back in whichever one that you see whichever creepypasta you guys see that's been literally spying or stalking or watching all of you tell me in the comments below asap so that way i can try to at least help you all out i know their strengths i know their weaknesses and i have been to the slender man mansion and i am rivals with slender man 
We both had a draw when we were in battle one night at the strike of midnight. We were on fighting to see who was the strongest. Apparently me and Slenderman are both the strongest because I have experience with blades. I got experience with ninja weapons. I got experience with other stuff, with karate, kung fu. Those are my experiences. All Slenderman does is just run, jump, or punch, or uh, use his noodle arms to st stand up even higher. But those noodly arms are literally his weakness. If you strike or slash literally one of them down, guys, you will scream in pain and agony, and he'll literally leave. Or he'll leave and stuff. And mostly, I am Slenderman's second hand in command because he knows he can't take me down. First time we had a draw. Well, uh, actually, second time we met, we had a draw. First time we met, I had to battle him to survive because he thought I was a weak human. Well, let's see how weak I was when I crushed his ass down to the ground. Literally. I didn't stop until I managed to cut him down. Because I got experience battling supernatural or any type of bad things. Besides supernatural and bad things, I'm used to crushing and making rivals with people. Or crushing enemies. Like, say, Jeff the Killer. After I met Slenderman and battled him in one, I literally fought Jeff the Killer. First time making YouTube video to summon a creepypasta was Jeff the Killer. He was hiding in my closet. I barricaded the closet so he wouldn't come out. So, until 4 a.m. hit, I had to close the closet because he was bashing that closet down just to try to come in and say, go to sleep. But, yeah. Anyways, Jeff the Killer's... Well, actually, I don't quite know a lot of bit about Jeff the Killer's little weakness is... Is that one day I went on the dark web and I got a voodoo doll of Jeff the Killer and Jane the Killer. I don't want to use Jane the Killer voodoo doll because me and Jane both have a few things in common. We both hate Jeff. But other thing is we kind of actually like... She kind of actually likes Jeff. They're starting to become boyfriend and girlfriend again. And Nina is in love with Lou Woods. And uh, yeah. It's just that... um. I've been helping them get through their problems, and it's working, and they're thanking me for it. Literally, Ben and Sally became a couple, and Eilish Jack and Eilish Jill became a couple, Laughing Jack and Laughing Jill, and Slenderman has been off way more, and... Tiki Toby and Clockwork are be together. We had to help Slendy and Slender Women come together. One of us took Slenderman's task and Slenderman and her became a couple again. Literally. So yeah. If any creepypasta is stalking you, just tell me in the comments below and I will help you find the weakness. Anyways. We have officially hit level 7. I'm going to sign off. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next one. Have an amazing day. And it's been very awesome the fact that we have hit level 7. Tomorrow I might do level 8. Or tomorrow I might do an all out Finance at Freddy's games. And uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye. Ciao.